All right, welcome back. So this is take two for the snow drive on internal roads on 69.25. All right, so what I've done is I, I've engaged FSD right now. So what I've done is I went back into the garage. I preheated very, very uh, long, maybe like 20 minutes. And then I uh, did wipe a little bit the cameras, but I mean, all the cameras were not occluded. They were all clean. So I don't know what was the issue. It might have been just, uh, you know, it wasn't really having a good time. Maybe the it was too heavy on the snow. So here's the turn coming up over here, a little bit too close. It's cutting it too close to the to the sidewalk, but no issues there. Okay, so now we've got a little bit of uh, issue here with this. Uh, it's getting a little bit too close to the incoming traffic, but it does see the cars, so I'm not too bothered. And then it, a very harsh break and across to the other side I don't know why it's doing this it's a it's a new thing it didn't have it didn't do this before so I'm not really sure and yeah it doesn't like it when I do this again all right let's disengage again um, might be just because of the snow um, the snow bank over here it's not liking to drive on the bare road here versus it likes the snow more I'm not really sure what's the reason behind that yeah, like the, the the snowfall is also a little bit less now. I mean, it was it was very heavy right at, right off at the beginning, so maybe that was an issue as well. All right, it's gonna it's gonna be able to do this. I've driven in worse conditions right now. All right, so here we go. All right, so it's coming to a stop here. Off we go, very nice sharp turn. And then kind of like merging to the side over here. Ooh, shouldn't really go that far. So I was gonna go off there. It doesn't really, it can't really see the sides of the pavement anymore when it comes to, let's try and engage over here. Yeah, I know it's not. So the amount of snow is not really working out for FSD beta here it can't really tell like you can see like you can't really tell where the road is and where the pavement is so that's partially the issue so i'm just trying to help it out a little bit all right it's gonna have to cut across very sharp over here does it nice that's a good one okay Of course, yeah, just uh, to mention it again, I, uh, I did cut down the FSD. So it's cutting a little bit too close to the side. I'm not really sure why. All right. Even though there's incoming traffic, like it should be able to see that from far away. All right, so it's going to stop here at this uh, yield sign. Yeah. When it slipped, so when it slipped, it kind of pressed on the accelerator um, a little bit too aggressive, so which even made the fishtail even worse at this turn. So was not happy to continue with that. I had to disengage for safety purposes. Nice sharp cut across here. Happy with this turn. All right, and we've reached our first uh, waypoint. I'll engage FSD. Avoids this uh, parked car very nicely. Happy with that. Let's see how it goes uh, through this turn over here. And as you can see, like the snow buildup is pretty much extreme right now. It comes to a stop here. Oop, it looks like we're pausing. So I'm going to give it a push. I'm going to give it a tap. Yeah, that's a, that's a weird one. So it has to cut across, yeah, to avoid these parked cars. Nicely done. We'll get a mix now of coming out from this uh, internal road and going into the to the street to get us across to the next neighborhood. 
All right, so it's clear on the left and clear on the right. Very bumpy, very bumpy ride. I was surprised I didn't get a, a takeover immediately. And okay, so we're approaching this uh, intersection over here. We're gonna have to take a left. harsh break here let's see how it's gonna do this turn and it's a little bit uh, hesitant to get across with that car uh, just a little bit too close for my liking there no issues with the turn but I would just stay a little bit clear from that uh, from that pavement a little bit of improvement here I think Normally it wiggles around. It does think it's a um, uh, it's a solid white line on our right, which is incorrect. It does change lanes now? Does it want to? Not really sure why. A lot of smoke coming out from the. the car in front of us all right so it stopped here on a yellow light yellow light I don't think it's a big problem stopping this uh, far into the intersection you know we still are meeting up the we're clear from the lanes in front of us or the uh, perpendicular lanes got the green light cars rolling forward a nice commit to go up to 40 happy with that getting too close to the left lane here yeah and it's breaking now so I'm going to take over just because I'm starting to scare the cars next to us <laughs> stick with stick in my lane right now for a bit Okay, so I'll engage after this car passes us. All right, let's see. Let's see how it does. I'll bump up the speed a little bit just to give it a little bit more encouragement. Should be cutting across here. Yeah, it's not doing it. I'm starting to like, um, starting to drive in the middle of the road so not happy with that so I'll just engage and uh, I'll engage closer here to this intersection to see it's struggling a lot today um, yeah let's engage from here and see yeah no nope. all right let's line it up let's see how it does on this turn a little bit too far from the car in front of us, so I'm gonna give it a tap to get it closer. Okay, we've got the green light, and I'm gonna give it a tap as well. Again, okay, so yeah, I don't really understand why it's re it really wants to turn to the right. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure. I might need to calibrate my my cameras. Um, it's funny because it does this it does this way better than might need to come back again and do another test I'm, I'm curious if uh, 69.25 uh, is a step backwards in terms of winter conditions uh, it should take this okay so it's slowing down but it's not really changing me to I'm going too far right now too far away from the turn. Yeah, I'm sorry if this drive is a little bit uh, disappointing, but uh, this is this is the state of uh, FSD right now. And uh, I find out that um, I find that when whenever we get a new release, like a dot twenty, you know, there's there's always a step back, and then we start seeing improvements. Uh, we 
start seeing improvements. I mean, we're we're very close to getting version 11. Um, Elon Musk has been saying that you know some folks are some folks that uh, some employees are are even on dot two and dot three right now, testing version 11. Um, yeah, like I, I don't know if it's gonna bring any improvements, but you know this is definitely. Like, it does internal roads very nice. Like, the last two turns were okay. But yeah, like, we're we're really giving it everything right now. There's no lanes. You can't see the curb. You can't, you know... It's, it's tough. It's not easy. Yeah. Alright, so... Let's see if it does a U-turn. It's kind of widening up a little bit over here. I'll engage and put our last test. Yeah, it doesn't give me the option to enable FSD. So I'll manually let it turn. Let me see over here if it does. Yeah, I'm not too hopeful about it, anyways. Okay, let's see how it does on the way back. So we can we you can still see that there is snow now starting again. So it might uh, might make it even a little bit worse. Okay, so it's clear on the left and the right. Not much difference in um, the time it takes for it to creep. Getting too close to the snow bank here. Okay. Slows down here. Still cars, so we should be able to go. And a nice comet. Sharp turn, nice. I like the way it's steering. Okay, it's doing really good now in this area. Um, we are coming up to this uh, intersection over here, and we'll see how it does this left turn. Okay, so it sees the stop sign. Goes for a complete stop. It's clear right now. Very nice. Cut through here. Very nice. Very nice. That's very good. And over here, we're going to get a little bit confused again, I think. So it's going to help it by bumping it up a little bit. It needs to cut across here. Come on, let's, you can do it. Yeah, there we go. Come on, cut across. Cut across. All right. Let's help it out. Let's engage. I know this is a little bit unfair, but right, it's stopping. It's clear. It's clear for us to go and merge. Ay ay ay, we're getting too close here. My, uh, I need to take over. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I'll wrap up over here um, very quickly. Yeah, 25, 69.25, um, yeah, I mean, on internal roads, maybe if I take it downtown, it'll be a little bit better. Like, uh, I already saw 3.3 was really good um, in downtown. I was very excited with that drive. Uh, dot 25, I'm not sure. Like, I, I don't think there's a difference, though. The release notes are, are the same, so I'm not really sure what's going on. I mean, it shows us, like, typically can see much more further I think because the snow is kind of built up a lot right now on the lanes so it's a uh, very difficult uh, terrain to to understand uh, getting too close to oh, all right so I don't know what's going on over there but it does tend to it does tend to skip this uh, traffic light sometimes but but it hasn't done that in a long time I'm really starting to begin 3.3 is uh, I mean dot 25 69.25 is, is the 
little bit of a step back. I'm not sure what build it is. Yeah, it's getting too close to that truck next to us here as well. Keep going. Nice. Yeah, but I'll, I'll redo this test in another day, um, maybe tomorrow or day after. It's uh, We're supposed to start to get like a very huge meltdown right now and uh, Chinook winds that uh, kind of like um, thaws everything. So um, with that, I think the roads will get a little bit more uh, desirable for FSD Beta to, um, to be able to drive in. It's doing this pretty good right now. Oh, I feel like I just jinxed it. But yeah, this is how it typically drives when, when there's a lot of snow. It typically takes the the right uh, lane over here. There's a car right behind me, so I'll bump up my speed just a bit for them. Oh, we're swaying here. Not really sure why. Uh, okay. Yeah, not very good. Yeah, so I'll end this video over here because it doesn't seem to be doing that good. Um, yeah, so thoughts, uh, if you guys have anything in the comments you want to put in, anything that I could do to possibly help FSD get a little bit better in driving these conditions, please let me know. I'm, I'm interested about your thoughts. Um, yeah, I'll try this test again. I mean, uh, with less snow buildup, but with more snowfall, I think that's kind of like where I'm, int I'm interested to see how it does. Uh, but yeah, like we're not getting consistent uh, drives with uh, snowfalls. So, uh, like I said, downtown in 3.3 with heavy snowfall, it was awesome. It's really good. If you haven't watched that video, watch it. I'll, I'll link it up. It'll be up on the on the right hand side. Um, yeah. Other than that, um, thanks everyone for watching. And um, you know, holidays are coming up, so spend some time with the family. Um, and uh, have a have yourself a very nice holiday, whether you're uh, whether you're celebrating Hanukkah or uh, Christmas, and uh, try to get some some time to uh, to relax before the beginning of the new year. And let's hope for 2023 to become a better a better uh, to be a better year, especially for uh, uh, Tesla uh, for full self driving. I mean. 2022 was kind of like a huge leap for FSD. Very happy with how it went. Yeah. Have a nice day, everyone. And uh, have a nice holiday. See you the next one.